Hello, my name is John. I'm an artist and an educator based in Wakefield, and this is my studio. Now I use this studio to make all sorts, a bit of painting, a bit of drawing, a bit of photography, filmmaking for my YouTube channel. But today I'm gonna to use it to make a couple of sculptures inspired by the brilliant artist Barbara Hepworth and her sculpture, Winged Figure 1963. One of these sculptures is gonna be made using a brilliant art technique called cut and slot, which is used by artists and architects all the time. And then the other one is going to be a wall relief, which is basically a sculpture that's stuck to the wall, just like Barbara Hepworth. Both are really simple, so I thought you might wanna make them too. And then at the end, I thought I would show you the way I might photograph these sculptures sculptures so that I can use them in my portfolio or stick them on my social media. Okay, so let's start with the wall relief so we can use the leftover card later. You will need some card, a pencil, scissors, string and some blue tack. Start by folding and cutting a piece of card in half. To create the winged shape, draw a large teardrop at the top and bottom of the card. Join these with a large sweeping curve to create two wings. They should reach the sides of the paper. Make one wing slightly smaller and chop off the tips. Then just cut it out. Draw four crosses along each wing and try to keep them evenly spaced. Use your blue tack under the card to safely create a hole using your pencil. Grab some string and feed it into one of the holes. Then tie a knot on the back to keep it in place. You can also use tape if it's easier. Thread the string through an opposite hole and then feed through the back of another. And keep doing this until all the holes are complete. Make sure to pull the string nice and tight to create tension and bend the card. Then tie a final knot. Snip any excess string and use a bit of blue tack to stick it to the wall. Okay, the cut and slop sculpture is more about experimenting, so don't worry if yours is different. In fact, it should be. Take another piece of card and fold and cut it in half lengthways. Then fold it in half four more times to create the stable base of the sculpture. Now I'm going to create a couple of wing shapes, one large, one small. Yours can be any shape you like. And remember that any scraps from cutting out can be reused later. So this is the cut and slot bit. It's so easy. Make a cut on both bits of card about the same size. Then slot them together, making sure you slide the bits fully. It's that simple. No glue, no fuss. Now you can use the same technique with any shapes or designs that you like. Try to think of ways that you can bend and fold the card to create interesting shapes and designs. There is no wrong answer to this, and if you don't like it, you can pull it apart and try different combinations.
Now, photographing your artwork is an important part of the creative process, but I think it's often the bit that's forgotten about. But you see, the way that you present your artwork is the way that people will experience it. So I thought I'd show you the way that I might photograph sculptures like these, and it doesn't matter whether you're using a phone camera or a regular camera, all of these things will help you have more interesting photographs. Choosing a dark background creates contrast and helps the colours pop. Have a look at what you've got around you. The lower you take your photo, the more dramatic and giant your sculpture will look. Turning your camera upside down can really help as well. Find a strong light source such as direct sunlight or a lamp to create dramatic highlights and shadows. Use some scrunched up tin foil to create a textured background. This makes the photograph look amazing and this trick is used by photographers all the time. If in doubt, put your hand in the photo. People like to make a connection between the artwork and the person who made it. Okay, there you go, enjoy making them. And as you do, remember it's okay to twist and bend and experiment with different techniques so that these sculptures end up with your vision and imagination. And remember, if you can, photograph your work because documenting artwork is half of the artwork. Okay, enjoy.